text designs I'm going to show you how to make 3d text and 3d shapes in Photoshop CS3 in the background here um, it's an example of something I've made up for this video and I hope to guide everyone that's watching this video how to make this simple and easy 3d effect in shapes and in also in lettering so let's get started so um, I'm gonna start by minimizing this and control N to start a new document have your presets and for this I'm just gonna set the background for what um hmm. yeah we'll just leave it that way I'm gonna change it anyway Okay, cool. So switch your foreground to black. Get the pink bucket tool and just paint it black. Next, you're gonna wanna take your change this to white, and f this can be any shape, number, letter, whatever you want it to be. For now, I'm just gonna put the this symbol at and position it okay so next we're gonna rasterize it okay next we're gonna go to edit transform and let's see what is it distort and holding shift we're gonna give it a little angle to it so it looks like it stands out more that looks good now press enter and it doesn't look like much but it's pretty much at an angle okay so what we're gonna do now is I'm gonna show you what's gonna happen hold control J that makes a copy and then on your directional um, directional buttons on your keyboard just press down Okay, now do that about five to ten times. So down. Okay, I did it about eight times. That's pretty much good. Now, as you can see, it looks like it got a little thicker. So to bring that out more, just see the results of what you just did come over to the original size um, lettering or symbol and come over to your styles now this may vary from anybody's com um, different computers and um, what people downloaded for their styles on Photoshop now I downloaded a whole bunch of styles you can find styles on Google just search them Photoshop styles and there's plenty of websites that offer them I'm gonna try to post up the link for the video so for this example I'm just gonna have it like a metallic kind of color. I'm gonna go all the way up. I choose this. Okay. Make sure that make sure this is up on the top so you can see it. And as you can see, as we zoom in, it looks 3D. Now that's simple, you don't have to do anything else to it if you don't want. But you can. You can also edit these. What you're gonna wanna do is just hold shift and just merge them. So you don't have to deal with any of that. And then just hold shift again. Then link the layers. And also lock them. Because we won't be editing them after this. Okay, cool. Now, what we're gonna do now is make these two layers invisible. Select the custom shape tool, and like I said, shapes and everything may vary depending on what people download it. So, I'm just gonna pick a random shape that I downloaded off the internet, 
and draw it out here. Select the move tool and just move it up. What we're going to do is cover it to a small object only because I want to scale it down just a little bit. Okay. Just give that a little rotate. Press enter. Now I'm going to go to my styles. I'm going to come all the way down and select the style. Now selecting the style makes your um, shape or lettering change a different color and stuff and I'm pretty sure everybody knows that but anyway